Since deceptive tactics women use to destroy men, you've been wondering how a woman would destroy a good man like me. You need to watch this video to the end. And don't forget to like. Like is important, guys. Like this video so that others can see. It. Number one, excessive care. Women use this tactic to get good men. They lure them into marriage. When a woman is caring for you so much, all of a sudden she starts showing excess care, like treating you nicely. Somebody that have not been nice to you, somebody that you don't even communicate with just like that. Maybe you guys are staying in the same premises, the same compound. All of a sudden she'll start showing that care. Oh, are you going for the gym today? Oh, I'm going to the gym. Oh, have you registered for the gym? Oh, there's a place that is nice gym. Maybe you can register. We'll be going together if you want to go. No, just like that. One day she will just come to your door. She just knock on your door. Hello, how you doing? I just, I just came to check on you. Hope you are okay. Just like that. Before you know, you guys will start communicating. Closeness will be there. All of a sudden, you start falling for her. You fall deeply for her. Then you continue to relationship. And in your mind, you don't have that mind like this is the kind of girl I want to be with. I want to be in relationship with this girl. But because of the care she shows. It makes you to fall into her hand. That is why sometimes some men fall into some women's hand, getting involved with them, getting married to them, and they were like, How did I end up here? This is not the kind of woman I plan to. So care just to get you and she plays nice lady, nice girl, good woman, stuff like that. I will like, oh, she's so good, she's so nice. Oh, where have you been before? I've never met someone like you. Crazy when a woman is caring for a man excessively. Maybe someone sent her into your life to just to like destroy you, or someone sent her into your life just to bring you down, or just to get some information from you because a woman have a way of getting information from a man even when the man won't want to talk the woman have a way of getting it when the woman is giving you in down there she'll she'll lure you and then you start giving her the information she needs and before you know where she have gotten the information she'll be scared she will not be seeing her the way you normally see her regularly she will, she will start giving yes oh i was busy i went to work oh i'm trying to move from these premises i'm not going to be staying here again i got a job in another place she have completed her mission so she just have to move on our second example good food oh men love good food they love something good something that is nice they love it if you check around like 99 percent of men love food because most of them, like 50% to 48%, they feel lazy to cook. So when they see a woman that knows how to cook nice food, oh, they're like, this is what I want. What else am I looking for? Someone that will be there giving me a nice dinner, nice breakfast, nice lunch, you know? Something like that. A man wants someone that is good, that can make them feel happy. So when a woman comes into your life, just come to your door. Hello, how you doing? I just came to this city new. I don't know much about people. I just let me check my neighbor. I don't know if you are doing, you know. Okay, how you doing? Oh, oh, okay. Are you eating? You're like, no, I just came back from work. I'm so tired. You know, I don't have time. I'm a man. I don't have time to cook. Oh, I can cook. I know how to cook. Oh, can I help you to prepare something nice? Be like, oh, that is fine. You can go ahead if you, that is nice. I'm happy. Oh, you just be doing like that. She'll start cooking for you. And from there, she'll go to her house. She'll make some delicious meal. She'll bring to your house. You'll like, stock your fridge. You're like, oh my goodness. I don't know that you have, oh. And I was thinking I went to, I was just planning to get this kind of food and you just prepare it for me. You like, you'll be marvel and you'll be happy like you see someone giving you what you want, giving you nice food. So you will not be worried, you will not be thinking like, oh, this person giving me food, huh? I don't know about her, how is the food going to be in my belly? No, you have to be more careful when you are taking anything into your body. Because once it enters the body, it digests inside the body, it does not easily come out. So when someone puts something bad in what she's giving to you, it might affect you it might be killing you it might be harming you gradually 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 eating you up in the intestine so that is why men you need to be more careful when you are collecting free 
food from woman even when she had said okay give me money let me cook for you as far you don't know that woman and as far you don't trust her don't allow her to make dinner or breakfast or lunch for you be very careful as a man so that you will not complicate your life our next example giving you her in between of her leg when a woman is giving you that ss you know there is something in between freely without you asking for it like asking you know it's something that a man need to like beg for a woman as far you are not married to that woman you need to beg like crawl from the woman to give it to you but when someone is giving you freely you think you have to think twice why is she willing to give me like that she don't know me and i don't know her and most cases some men go in between of the leg with the lady without using a cover they don't even care whether they are going to be contacted with something that is not good for their body they feel like oh it's just a few minutes enjoyment let me just go there and drive the way i want to drive they just forget about her i don't i don't have any feeling for her just so she's giving me freely so <laughs> it's a free for i need to take it no there are some there are some things that follow when you go with those kind of free things. Look at this. When you go with a woman with that free gift of the in between of the leg, it affects your life indirectly. In the sense that the woman might be committed with something that is not good for your life. And once you have gone with her, all of a sudden you start seeing breakdown in your life. You start seeing things turning upside down because you have physically and spiritually connected with this woman and you have opened your in between of the leg then go with her in between of the leg so you have connected with her so there is something that go between two of you it's not just few minutes enjoyment there is more to this enjoyment so as a man when you want to have this in between with a lady make sure you know that lady very well be sure of it i have seen a man that because a lady was so beautiful and attracted to him so she, he got involved with this lady and at the process of them book a hotel they went into the hotel they were all together laughing and all that and the man already pulled off his clothes and then they got in the in between they have not even entered the in between at the process they were like you know jolly and inside the bedroom stuff like that so all of a sudden someone knocked on the door I want the person knock on the door. It was a plan D. You know, understand what I mean? A plan D. They just, you know, they just part the man just like that. So that is why, as a man, you know that you are a businessman. You have a lot of things that you are doing that are progressing in your life. You have to be more careful because there are some people that are not happy with you. Maybe they have some contract with you and they just want to use woman to lure, to enter you. So when they know that, oh, this man, I. He likes a, he like beautiful women. Oh, he like tall lady. Oh, he like dark lady. Oh, he like fair lady. They will look for that kind of lady because they have been with you. They know your kind of person, so they will select that kind of person for you, and they will give the person your information. So the person will not use that information to enter you and be so nice, telling you doing things, and you be so similar. Like, oh, how did you know that? I, I you know, it's, uh, oh no, I just sense that he might like something like that. No. The information has been passed to her. So she's going to use that information to just destroy the man. So that is why as a man, you need to be more, more careful when you are dealing with strange women. Don't accept every free in between of the leg. Free T.O. is not good. When you are using your in between of the man to enter the T.O., your cucumber, free of charge you have to think twice before you enter is it okay for me is this something that i really want it no it does not want it because it's free it's not something that you have to go in between of the leg with you have to be more sensitive when you are going with a lady mostly strange lady someone that you don't have any intention for someone that you don't know all of a sudden you should just show for nowhere and start being nice to you, start communicating, start being giving it to you, start touching you, uh, start doing stuff like that. All of you just go in between. No, as a man. Our next example gift free gift. Free gift. When a woman start giving you man free gift, you're like, oh, for me, 
How did you know that I love this kind of flower? How did you know that I love? How did you know that I don't have a bossa? How did you know that I love this t-shirt? How did you know the size of my trouser? She was like, oh no, I know your size of. I just see you and I'm. I just know your size. No, there is something going on that you don't know. She know your size of trouser because someone that was close to you, someone that was close to you, have intimacy with you, have given her your size of trouser. Maybe you have done something at the past that you don't remember again, and someone wants to like use a woman to get you down. So when a woman is giving you excessive free gift, get buy you gift something that you don't ask for, you're like oh in my life I've never received free gift for a woman. Oh you have oh so lovely. Oh you're so nice. You'll be using so sweet sweet word on her. You'll be so emotional. That thing will not make start having likeness. From likeness, you start having feeling for her. That feeling will not grow so big. You become like close to her. So you start loving her gradually, gradually. And before you know, you start like, oh, I want to get married to you. Then you get married to her. And by the time she reveals her true self, you like, but we are so nice. When we are together, you are buying me gifts. No. There are some women that use that to get the man that they want in their life. They just want to get married to the man. The man, you need to uh, know what you want fair before you go for it. Don't just go for any hair. No. Because when you go for any hair, your life will be any hair. You don't want that in your life. Build your life in the way that you want. At the end, when you grow to that old age, you might regret your life. And then, like, what did I do with my life? And then it will be too late. And last example, having covenant with a lady. Having covenant with a lady is not something that is really nice. Most time, most men enter this covenant at the early age where they don't know anything. They don't know what is called love. They don't know what is called feeling. They just see someone. They're like, oh, we are, we are, we like ourselves. Oh, and our, if our parents like us the way we are together, oh, let's have a covenant. You know, it's good for us to have that covenant so that you will not go with another man. I will not go with another woman. You'll be so happy doing it. No, because it will come to a stage when you have grown to that man, you now realize that what I was. What I was doing was totally wrong. I'm not supposed to be with that woman. So am I going to like cut off this covenant? What if the woman said that this covenant cannot be broken? You'll be tied to that person because you have joined your blood together. It's a covenant. So it's some, covenant means something that you need to keep holy. So you don't need to break it. So that is why it's important for a man. Just feeling when you are young is not the same way when you have grown to that mature age. My short age that means that you know what you are doing, you know what you want. There's some age that you don't know what you want. That is the age you will enter that covenant, and the covenant will become traumatized to you because you soak yourself into what you don't want. And when you grow to that age, like what I what, what am I doing? Oh, I enter into wrong hands. Why did I you know you start blaming yourself? And by the time it will be too late for you. Except the person is no more. That is where you can, okay, let me go with another woman. But as far as the person is still existing, you need to well, break the covenant. What if the person rejects the breaking of the covenant? That is why it's not advisable for a man to enter a covenant that is not good. Love is a beautiful thing to find, but have to be more sensitive about things when you are finding love. So that you get the right true love. Someone that will not make you to be more miserable in your life. Someone that gives you happiness. You know, love is all about joy, peace, and that respect. That is love. You don't beg for it. It comes willingly. So you need someone that can give it to you free of charge. That is why you need the genuine one. There are few, but you need to get the right woman in your life. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share, and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.